practicality and reliability, possibly two of the most important things that you're looking for when you're buying a new car. This is the new Nissan Navara. It's made by Nissan, so it's gonna be reliable. It's got all the practicality of a small van. It's even got enough space in the back for the kids at the weekend. So I've brought it to this rather windy, cold, wet dock area to put it to the test. Like most pickups, the Navara offers quite a dawning exterior with a massive front grille, a long stance and a flatbed rear. However, its interior tells a bit of a different story. The only real concern I had with the Navara before actually driving it was the fact that it may feel a bit too commercial, a little bit plasticky, like a van. But it doesn't at all, it actually feels quite luxury. This is the Techno trim, which is the second of four trim levels available. So we're mid-level, we've got things like a leather steering wheel, heated seats, satellite navigation, leather seats, and iPod connectivity. On top of all this, there's so much storage space in the cabin. We've got this centre console in between the two seats, which is where the iPod connector is. We've got two glove boxes, which are big enough for all your glove box needs. We've got a bit of storage in the centre console, again, which is quite deep and two quite large side bins, not forgetting the sunglass holder. Another interesting feature is the lack of a transmission tunnel near the rear passenger seats, meaning whoever has sat in the centre passenger seat in the back doesn't have to lug their feet over it, which ultimately makes it less crammed. So to the rear we've got this rather heavy fold-down rear tailgate, which will easily take my weight. The load level's non-existent, so you can get whatever it is that you're transporting in the back with ease. We've got the roller shutter to protect our load, but there are very different types of load covers that you can get depending on the shape and size of whatever it is that you're transporting. So that's what it's like in terms of storage. And as you can see, the Navara can handle itself pretty well when it comes to large cargo, a perk that is further aided by its two-ton towing capacity. But the Navara can also hold its own on the road when it comes to performance, as there is a 2.5-litre diesel engine with 187 brake horsepower at entry level, as well as an even punchier 3-litre V6 petrol offer that delivers 228 brake horsepower. And for a pickup that offers all that power, the Navara delivers a surprisingly smooth and responsive drive, helped of course by its four-wheel drive system, which also comes as standard. If you are considering buying one of these cars, I would strongly recommend you take one for a test drive. I've been driving this for a couple of days now and I've got to say I've kind of fallen in love with it. It's a great all-round car. For us particularly, we've got loads of space for kit in the back. There's three seats that will sit three adults easily. It's a very comfortable car to be in. And the fact that this car is such a great all round it is only enhanced by the fact that your driving position is amazing. You do feel as though you could conquer some sort of small country in this car. It's such a sturdy, well-built car on the road. And you really do feel you could take on pretty much anything in this. The satellite navigation system in all Nissans is usually pretty good, but I'm particularly impressed with the one in the Navara. It's got a large LCD screen that's touchable, but it's also got the buttons as the options on the dashboard, which does make it very easy to navigate around. One thing I would recommend in this car is the reverse camera. The vehicle's quite long and quite bulky, so it can be quite difficult to park in tight spaces. But with the reverse camera, everything's just made simple. On the straight, the car's fine. Going into a bend, oh, it struggles ever so slightly. It just doesn't quite grip the corners as you'd want to. But you know, considering the size and the weight of this car and what you'd be using it for, you're not going to want to be taking this on a track. So I like it. So, as you probably guessed, the Navara offers the roughish character of a pickup with its bulky exterior, large flatbed storage and colossal engines. However, behind the pickup's masquerade sits a much more refined vehicle that offers quite a snug interior and a very enjoyable drive. So for just over £18,000, you get a multi-purpose off-roader that, to be honest, is pretty nice to just have a cruise in, providing you live somewhere with a lot of open roads. But having said that, you're not buying this car to be the most refined machine in the world. It's a great practical all-round vehicle. It can be used at the weekend for taking the kids out. It can be used during the week for work. I mean, how many cars can you park in a puddle and use it to actually climb over to save getting wet? I think it's a brilliant car, not to mention 
the Navarro's come with four wheel drive, so you can have a bit of fun in roads like this. It would be great to put the Navarra through its paces a little bit off-road, but we don't really have the time for it in this particular review. That said though, we have taken it mildly off-road, and I must say, I'm pretty impressed. It handles quite well, and it would certainly get you out of any sticky spots you'd find yourself in on a building site and such likes. The other really nice feature is we have pretty bad winters now as well, so on this particular road that I'm on at the moment, there's quite bad potholes. Slipping it into four-wheel drive really does make a difference on this loose, potholed, torn road. So the Navarra's practical and a great all-rounder. And if you're looking to get it through your company, you'll be able to claim back thousands of pounds of VAT because of its commercial vehicle status not even considering the amount of money you'll save on your tax. Plus, at 33 miles to the gallon, or thereabouts, it's quite economical.